Hi everyone, good morning. So let me share my screen. Okay. Okay, so like in my previous videos, like we covered about like admin and basic development of entry questions and scenario based questions as well, right? Yes. So now like we are going to some advanced topics like our components. Okay, like lightning. So in a uh, entry point of view, like what they are going to ask in lightning based on interview questions and scenarios as well. Okay, so let's open that. So it's actually from the beginning. Okay. What is lightning experience? What is lightning experience? So it is the new user interface developed by the Salesforce team which is built on component based framework and event driven architecture so lightning experience should be like it's developed by the salesforce team it should be like component based framework which is a like component based framework which provides a dynamic and responsive experiences to the user like it's a user friendly so you can say uh, some different different roles also like user friendly and uh, easy to configure so those kind of uh, words you can use that like this framework is is built to provide optimum performance by casting casting client side and stateless server architecture so we can say like this answer for what is the lightning experience means. so where we can display lightning components so we are going to create the lightning components right like where we are going to display that so answer should be like lightning component can be displayed at the following places like lightning experience salesforce one app template based community standalone lightning app and visual force pages using lightning out so these are the places like we are going to display the lightning component what are the advantages of lightning what are the advantages of lightning so there are many advantages of using lightning like it's a out of the box component to set which enables the fast paced creation of new apps it's event driven architecture which enable the easy uh is complaint between the components so driven awareness cross browser compatibility and framework so optimized for the performance so if you uh such in google's like you will get more advantages for time being i had only three here okay like does lightning component means does lightning work with visual force page does lightning work with visual force page like visual force yes lightning component works with visual force by implementing lightning out as i discussed earlier like it should be a lightning out so which was already right so yes Lightning component we can work with visual force by implementing the lightning out. So, what is the difference between visual force component and lightning components? This is the most important question uh, in every interview. They will ask, ask this kind of questions. Like, what is the difference between the VF pages and VF pages and lightning components? Right? So, visual force pages is created keeping keeping page as the center of the application. And most of its calculation is performed at the server side in VF pages, right? So coming to lightning. So lightning component on the other hand are created using the component based framework. Component based framework. Most of the calculations are performed at the client side and makes them more dynamic and provide rich customer experience. Rich customer experience. Also, lightning component are built using mobile first approach mobile first approach so difference between like this means like visual force pages and lightning component it's a lightning based uh, framework it's the calculations performed at the client side and the make them more dynamic and provide rich customer experience like rich experience we are providing the lightning experience while compared to visual force pages is lightning components replacing the visual force page no so earlier question like uh, is there four pages we are using lightning component that question answer should be yes now lightning components replacing in visual force pages no lightning component is not replacing visual force page visual force visual force is still supported by the salesforce but no, not we can take a note but still visual forces visual force pages supporting by the 
sales posting but we are using like lightning component and lwc also but we are, we are not yet completely removed visible force pages right yes is lightning component framework an mvc framework model view controller mvc stands for model view controller right so is lightning component framework an mvc framework no it is not a an mvc framework it's a component based framework and event driven okay so what are the list of the tools available in salesforce lightning so what are the list of tools are available in salesforce lightning so lightning connect lightning component framework lightning schema builder so lightning process builder and lightning app builder so these are the list of tools available in the salesforce lightning okay what is the aura framework what is the aura framework so aura is an open source ui framework built by salesforce for developing dynamic web apps for more mobile and desktop devices so aura is an open source ui framework utility by salesforce for developing a dynamic web apps for mobile and desktop devices so salesforce uses aura build apps such as a lightning experience and salesforce one mobile apps so what is the mean by aura framework means like we have to take these steps what is our definition bundle what is our definition bundle means like in our definition bundle like what are the uh, components we'll, we are using what are the components we are using in our definition bundle right so our definition bundle contains following items like these are the items inside the our definition bundle right so first of all component first of all component so ui for lightning component so after that controller js contains client side con controller method that method to handle events in component helper.js helper.js means like javascript function that can be called from any javascript code into the components bundle next component style it contains contains style for the component design for required for components used in lightning app builder lightning pages or community builder so render next component should be like render so client side render to override default rendering for a component and documentation okay so another component should be render so client side render to override default rendering for a component so documentation a description sample code and one more multiple references to example components for documentation okay after that svg so custom icon resource for components used in lightning app builder or community builder so these are the definition for bundles and next so how can we extend any component how can we extend any component so lightning component can be extended using extensible equal to true attribute in the aura component so this is the keyword extensible equal to true attribute in the aura component so based on this keyword like we can extend the component what are the different lightning components bundles so we already discussed about right component controller helper style document design svg and render so these are the uh, lightning component bundles so how can we display components to the production arc how can we display sorry deploy so how can we deploy components to the production or lightning components can be deployed to the production or via chain sets or force.com id or managed package or auto rabbit or copado so any other tools which is supported by the salesforce for deployment so we can do any any deployment through these components right so what are the different ways to conditionally display markup and what is the uh, what is the uh, pre preferred approach what is the preferred approach okay so what are the different ways to conditionally display the markup and what is the preferred approach so using this like aura if tag so aura colon if tag use css to toggle visibility of markup by calling 
dollar a dot util toggle class cmp comma class in javascript code so this is the best approach to conditionally apply the markup so what is a flexi page in lightning so what is a flexi page in lightning so flexi page flexi page represents so the the metadata associated with a lightning page a lightning page represents a represents a customizable screen made up of regions containing lightning components a lightning page region can contain up to 25 components how many components up to 25 components so lightning pages are referred as a flexi pages in api and referred as a lightning pages else where is in sfdc documentation so list of global values providers what are the list of global values providers in lightning <laughs> components right so global id dollar global id and browser label local resources so these are the global ids so what is lightning design system what is lightning design system short terms like you can call as a slds slds the salesforce lightning design system slds component library is actually uh, developed by to enable salesforce developers to create a uniform look and feel uniform look and feel across the all salesforce related applications while to css best practice and conventions best practices and conventions for using like slds so use of this css class what is the use of this css class right this adds namespacing to css and helps prevent one components css from bullying any another components style in a way another component style can we include one lightning component to another yes can we include one lightning component to another yes we can include one lightning component into another lightning component so what is the use of the aura method tag in lightning so aura method is used to communicate down the containment hierarchy that is parent to child that is parent child so these are the frequently asked questions into the like lightning uh, basic entry questions and scenario based as well so it's a part one video and we'll we'll come up with like part two video as well like we'll discuss about more uh, lightning entry questions under the real time and interview perspective okay okay thanks for watching